Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Once a rising political star, Kane will soon be a prisoner. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden has been tracking the developments all day. He joins us live from Norristown. Joe? Jessica Yuki, this appeals process has been dragging on for 25 long months. Oddly, that is two months longer than the maximum she was sentenced to serve. The order came down late this afternoon. Kathleen Kane must report to jail no later than 9 a.m. Thursday. Two legal experts said it was a foregone conclusion after the once prominent politician exhausted all of her appeal options. So at this stage of the game, and she's been allowed to stay out for two years, roughly, uh, she's run the clock out and now must serve. The way I read it, she should be out of options. It's time for her to to pack it up and think about how she's going to spend the next 10 months. Prosecutors filed a motion earlier Tuesday asking that Kane's $75,000 bail be revoked immediately. There was friction from the start as Kane plowed into thorny issues, including the controversial handling of the Penn State case under a former attorney general. Kane was accused of leaking secret grand jury material and then covering up her tracks by lying to an investigating grand jury. The jury found she used the sensitive material to declare war on political opponents. The plot publicly unraveled and backfired as Kane attempted to go after other powerful politicians. For her part, she claimed she was brought down by a good old boys club for what she was trying to expose, including what became known as Porngate among state lawmakers, prosecutors, and even justices on the Supreme Court. Kane, now turned inmate, begins her sentence at minimum of 10 months in less than 48 hours. And Kay now has those 40 hours to get her personal affairs in order, and then she will report directly to the county jail here in Eagleville. For now, live in Norristown, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.